Introducing the revolutionary Quick 10 Cloning Kit by Intact Genomics. In the next couple minutes, we will address the key benefits and give you step-by-step -step instructions for use with this kit. The Quick 10 Cloning Kit makes your cloning process exceptionally simple. With a 10-minute assembly and transformation process, and a 99% successful cloning rate. Use your own vectors or single selection, multiple selection, or even custom vectors available from IG. Quick 10's revolutionary process will save you time and money using a few simple steps. Let's explore the Quick 10 process. As you can see, there are four main processes in the Quick 10 assembly and 11 steps in total. Our scientists will demonstrate each step in the process and we will discuss any key benefits, tips, or tricks to help you have a successful cloning experience. Let's explore the first step, the primer design and PCR step. The first step is to accurately design primers or DNA inserts in vector for use with the Quick10 kit. As an example, one can either synthesize or amplify the DNA of interest. You should synthesize or design primers for the DNA of interest with 12 to 15 base pairs at the five prime extensions to the end of the provided linearized vector sequence included in this kit. You may also use your own vectors or design 12 to 15 base pair homologs of your DNA of interest at the five prime extensions to the end of a linearized vector and perform PCR on the vector. You have the freedom to do the design as you wish, and the only requirement is 12 to 15 base pair homologs among DNA inserts and vector. Next, you will amplify the DNA of interest with Intact Genomics i7 high fidelity DNA polymerase 2x master mix, or any other high fidelity DNA polymerase. Program and run the thermal cycler according to the manufacturer's instructions for your chosen high fidelity DNA polymerase. Run the PCR product on an agarose gel to determine the integrity of the PCR product. The presence of only one clear band is preferred. If there are multiple bands, one should cut the gel for the band of interest and further purification may be necessary. Following amplification, dilute the unpurified PCR product 5 to 10 times utilizing the provided dilution buffer. Please note that increasing PCR product purity correlates to increasing cloning efficiency. The second primary step is the assembly reaction setup and completion. Following PCR dilution, set up the assembly reaction according to the protocol instructions and mix the reaction thoroughly. The Quick 10 Cloning Kit Assembly Mix allows for exceptionally short assembly incubation times. Incubate the reaction mixture at 37 degrees for just 7 to 15 minutes, then place on ice. For larger DNA, longer incubation times may be necessary, but do not exceed 30 minutes. The third primary step is the transformation step via the direct plate method. A key advantage to this kit is the inclusion of our new direct plate competence cells that simplify the transformation workflow by eliminating heat shock, lengthy incubations, and time-consuming outgrowth procedures, saving nearly 90 minutes. Use 1 to 5 microliters of the assembly reaction mixture and transform into direct plate XL DH10B competent cells that are included in this kit. Thaw the direct plate XL competent cells on ice and set up the transformation reaction according to the manual specifications. Mix gently by pipetting up and down a few times, then place the mixture on ice for 3 to 10 minutes. 
Use a sterilized spreader or autoclaved coli roller plating beads to spread 25 to 50 microliters from each transformation directly onto a white tea plate containing 100 micrograms per mil ampicillin. Unlike other kits, recovery media is not required for this step. We recommend plating two different volumes to ensure at least one plate will have well-spaced colonies. Please be aware, typical drying time takes about 20 to 30 minutes. Drying the plate too much will decrease cloning efficiency. One other note, if you use your own vector with antibiotic resistance other than ampicillin, simply add transformation mix into 200 microliters of recovery media and shake for one hour, then plate. Recovery culture is absolutely needed in this case as well. The fourth primary step is a final incubation step. Lastly, incubate the plates overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. This entire process is supremely convenient and should save your team more than 90 minutes while providing excellent results. Our dedicated team of customer service reps is available to aid with any questions you have on this or our other products. Thank you for your time.